Welcome to the Rocos Minute, where business owners can get expert commercial real estate advice from award-winning brokers. Welcome to the Rocos Minute. I'm Jake Sampson. And I'm Mark Stevens. Today, we are covering the latest on the West office market. Throughout the pandemic, the suburbs have seen the most leasing activity in the Twin Cities, and the West Market has continued to be a leader. We'll be covering the latest office development in the submarket, how landlords are staying competitive, and the West Market's effect on downtown Minneapolis. Here we are outside of 10 West End, completed in early 2021. This 11 story, 363,000 square foot Class A property is located at 394 and Highway 100. At the time of the planning, this was a bold spec development by Ryan Companies and the Excelsior Group. And during construction, it faced a new set of challenges due to the pandemic. This project has found success and currently sits at 54% leased with quoted net rental rates of 26 to $28 per square foot. Notable tenants that have signed leases include HGR Engineering, Carval Investors, and Aerotech Recruiting. This is an example of the flight to quality, addressing employee retention, recruiting, and now an effort to draw employees back to the office. In an effort to meet the changing needs of tenants and stay competitive in the market, the owners of West End Office Park created their own 30,000 square foot co-working space named Abridge at West End Center. The Abridge offers seven individual, fully furnished suites ranging from 2,300 to 8,000 square feet. Tenants share a central amenity area that includes an office lounge, kitchen area, beverage service, and conferencing space. This is a situation where a traditional landlord is staying competitive by creating their own co-working space to compete with brands like Lifetime Work, which has a full floor located right next door at 1600 Utica. Tenants should be prepared to pay a premium due to the flexible lease terms and the high-end finishes. Lastly, the West Market's proximity to downtown, free parking and walkable amenities has tempted downtown office tenants to consider a move to the suburbs. Due to the pandemic and civil unrest in Minneapolis, more tenants are seriously considering the West Market. The most recent is Old Republic Title that is leaving 100,000 square feet of downtown space and is zeroing in on the West Market for 60,000 square feet. While this is a tough loss for the downtown market, we haven't seen as many office tenants leave Minneapolis like some had predicted. We believe it will be two to three years before the full impact is realized. Thank you for tuning in to the Rocos Minute. If you have any questions about this topic or any other commercial real estate matter, we're here for you and happy to help.